Welcome to the Daily D and today we are making apple pie bread. Um, the first thing, I'm just going to go over the ingredients with you and then we'll get to the recipe. Um, we have one can of apple pie filling. I don't usually, you know I always make my own apple pie so I rarely buy this but when I do since I'm mashing it up I just mashed it up quite a bit um, it doesn't matter to me whether it's no name brand or name brand so get whatever's cheapest we have four eggs and you just want to um, just break them up and slightly beat them not too much uh, we also have uh, one uh, golden or yellow cake mix. We have a cup of flour, a tablespoon of cinnamon, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and we will be to have one apple chopped, but I'm not going to do that right now. I don't want it to turn brown, so we're going to do these first. And the first thing we're going to do is just put all of the dry ingredients in a bowl. Should maybe cut the hole in this bag a little bit bigger. And the flour. Salt. Baking powder. And cinnamon. The good thing about when you put cinnamon in something like this is it really gives you an idea if you're if you've uh, you've mixed everything up. So you want to eat. I just find it's a little easier. Okay. So once we add this, we're just going to add our wet ingredients, which would be our eggs. And our apple pie filling I'm just going to mix that up a bit so I used to whisk until it was almost completely uh, mixed and then it was a little tough so I just switched to my spatula and I have one medium apple chopped. Uh, it, whatever apples you prefer to use. I like Granny Smith, so this is what it is. So I put the apples in at the last minute so to prevent them from browning and just looking yucky in them. Now you will now put the oven up to 325 degrees, preheat it. Uh, you'll use two loaf pans. I have three here because these are smaller than normal loaf pans. So instead of uh, dividing this between two of them, I'm just going to divide it between three. So I ended up just using two loaf pans. I think at some point, um, I think these pans are slightly bigger than the ones I thought I had. But anyway, so what we have here is we're putting cinnamon sugar on top and cinnamon sugar is two-thirds a cup of white sugar with two teaspoons of cinnamon mixed I have if you think that look this looks like more it is and it's because we are making uh, multiple loaves tonight so um, I made all the cinnamon sugar at once and so you're just going to cover the top generously in cinnamon sugar but you don't want to get it too thick because if you get it too thick uh, that's not going to kind of like melt in with it and so you're going to end up with just loose sugar on top and so once this uh, sugar is on we're going to put this in a preheated 325 degree um, oven for 35 to 45 minutes 
you're going to want to use the toothpick test to make sure it comes out clean. Put a little bit over here. Sufficiently covered, we're going to put these in the oven and we'll see you when they come out. Okay, the apple pie bread is out of the oven. I ended up cooking mine the full 45. Um, I'm going to leave it here to cool for about 20 minutes and then I'm going to uh, turn these over and take them out of the pans and we'll see you back in a little bit. The apple pie bread is finished. This is what the finished product looks like. It has little chunks of uh, the fresh apple in it and it has a really nice apple flavor. Give it a try. Kids will love it. It's great for lunches or whatever. Um, the recipe will be in the description box below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And check out all of our other recipes in the recipes playlist. We have quite a few in there. And until next time, keep baking.